After having our lunch at Victor Monk's desk, we decided to visit the Guggenheim Museum, and after that, a Michelin star restaurant. The Guggenheim Museum Biabao is a museum of modern and contemporary art designed by Frank Gehry, built alongside the Nervian River, which runs through the city of Biabao. It is one of the most admired works of contemporary architecture. Guggenheim Biabao is one of the several museums belonging to Solomon R. Guggenheim Foundation, and features permanent and visiting exhibits of works by Spanish and international artists. It is one of the largest museums in Spain. We toured the museum as a staple touristic attraction. I'm not a huge fan of modern art, especially considering you can just put a piss pot and there call it a fountain. If that's the fountain, then I'm the nurturer of rain and cloud. Get it? Anyways, one thing that interested me was this installation called Matter of Time, comprising eight pieces of torque eclipses made of weather steel, forming an interesting space. When you walked in and tried to speak, you can feel your sound being enhanced by layers of echoes as you traverse through the tunnels. So check out the acoustic of this area. It's designed to separate the sound bounce off these walls and the echoes around you. But it's very impressive. It's, 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 it feels more real if you're here. That's a fairly quick tour. Nevertheless, the museum overall was quite interesting to explore. After wandering around in the city for a bit, now it's time for dinner. Tortico is one of the Bilbao's leading gastronomic icons, which opened its door in 1989 and continues to impress and surprise guests in equal measure with its rare elegance. Its owner, Chef Daniel Garcia, see his cuisine as an exploratory journey back to the roots of the Biscayan cuisine, while adjusting flavors in line with modern tastes and seasonality. The dining room is classic and elegant. They only have one tasting menu featuring 10 courses that consist of some of the finest elements of the Basque cuisine. There wasn't much commentary, just pure eating and savoring. Thank you. Let's see. Mm. That's some of the best experiments I've had. So we have this ice cream that was uh, colored with squid and milk, with some truffles, and they have some fruit compote in the bottom. Turn the sauce first. Okay. Mm. This is like the cream of the fish, mm. kind of. Yeah. 
Und wer weg? This doesn't just feel like eating ice cream. It feels like ice cream with this um, fish flavor infused in it. Very cool. You should mix with the with the bottom. Okay. I have something in the bottom. Oh yeah. There's there's some sounds or or sweet sounds in the bottom. Okay. Okay. I guess that's apple. Uh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Try that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's very soft. It's very soft. It's very soft. It's like a one bite thing. Mmm. Oh, oh. Very happy with you. Mmm. 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 This is creamy almond, very subtle. That wrapped up our 10 courses at Tortico. What a meal, we thought. It was truly a showcase of the diversity of the Basque cuisine, worthy of a Michelin star. Some of my favorites were the Terreña Beef Grabacho, asparagus, and especially the caught and cuttlefish ink ice cream. It gave me the most impression, and I never knew ice cream can be made this way. It was almost a blend between a mini stew and a cold dessert with the enhanced flavor from the cod and squid ink. Sweet, savory, and creamy. Both of us were impressed. In fact, it impressed us so much that my friend said he needed to find a girlfriend to dine at this type of place. Anyways, that was for the day. A good day. The journey in the Basque country continues.